don't you just love natural hair? I mean, it's very versatile. You can have it whichever way you want. Straight, curled, up, down. You can basically do whatever you want to do with it. I have two girls, so I have to cherish and love it and teach them to cherish and love their natural hair as well. But wait a minute, does it really have to affect us in this society? Be you looking for a job or simply being accepted? I don't think this should be an issue. Anyway, join me as I discuss this in this movie review. Hey there everyone! As you saw from the intro, this is going to be a mixture of, you know, a movie review of the movie title Dollar Pot is Fine, as well as, you know, well, you were here with me when I did this, time to take it off, so you are joining me to take it off. So, almost like we're having a chat, doing a movie review, and also, how do I put it? Encourage ourselves about our natural beauty in general, you know, being confident within ourselves with what we have, what God has given us. And, you know, so let's get into it. Join me as I take my hair out. We discuss the movie and we encourage each other. I mean, don't forget to put your comments down below of what you think of this, you know, um, what your experiences are. Just let me know, okay? let's get going right. so the movie title is called dollar pot is fine um it's on netflix actually i'm not sure it's just 15 minutes very short so will i classify as a movie or a little skit or a little drama whatever it is it's on it's on netflix check it out dollar pot is fine is the title and it's about this young lady basically who is you know you can tell she's very confident within herself very well spoken a young um black girl you know nigerian girl to be precise um and the name is dollapo but obviously because people cannot pronounce it so she says dollop so she will say my name is dollapo but you can call me dollop you know um i mean she's she's really get it going for herself um i think she's in um probably 11 or 12 you know so she's looking for work experience and all that so now the good thing about this girl and her friends in school is that even though you know she's got this big afro you can tell her friends love it you know everyone around her love it but obviously um because she was looking for work experience she got there and the lady that was to interview her was another um nigerian woman um i can't remember her name but basically because her name, I think, yes, her name was Adeze. And because people could not pronounce her name as well, so she would say, my name is Adeze, but you can call me Daisy. So she's shortened it to Daisy. Now, she she met Dolapo, and her first impression was big hair. You're not going to get any job here in this sort of industry. You know what I mean? Like, you've got big hair, your name cannot be pronounced. So go and come back and give me a different name. And the girl is somehow confused because you're a black woman. You're supposed, you're to, supposed to be encouraging me. You're telling me my hair is big and I have to change my name. Anyway, this girl is looking for the job so bad. I mean, to get that experience or to meet this woman. So she goes and think about it and comes back and goes, my name is Dollop, but you can call me. I think she came back with Dollop again and the lady was like, no. So she went and came back and goes, my name is Dolapo, but you can call me Dolly. And then the lady agreed this time. Now, my problem there is that, honey, you were meant to encourage that little girl to love herself, first of all, to love her hair, everything about her, whether her hair is Afro, curly, whatever it is, you were supposed to encourage her, but you're rather bringing her down. That is a no-no. But it's rather unfortunate because we find these things amongst ourselves i mean even the girl's own parents preferred her in wigs because from that point she thought okay i'll be good in wigs so she started wearing wigs and you know even her friends were confused like why are you not just sticking to you know what we know and even i think one of her closest friends said to her look at me and it was a white girl she was like look at me i've got curly hair i'm not gonna wear wigs and she was like, oh, you have no idea. Because basically the pressure on her to try so much to please this woman that she wants that experience from is telling her, your looks are not good enough. You know, so it, it was really something that was really bothering her. 
so she started wearing wigs and guess what she had to give a speech in school uh, I think it was something to do with Africa so they chose her to do it um, while she was giving the speech some of her papers fell off she went down to get the papers she came up wig was off so the whole assembly started laughing at her now you can imagine that was so embarrassing like it was so embarrassing that embarrassing moment got her thinking i mean she wept throughout the night like she called her parents and they were like oh lead them the white people they don't know how it feels to you know be like you and blah 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 and she was thinking no and guess what the lady that she wanted this experience from also called her to access something about i think world remit or something like that along that lines and she was on the phone and she was trying to ask the lady do you even know where the hair you put on your hair comes from and the lady was like oh like forget that answer me you know like very uh persuasive in terms of trying to get this young beautiful black girl to be like someone she's not so she just hung up and then she thought to herself nah i think in at that point she started having all this you know nightmares about where the hair she's wearing come from and you know what she's doing to herself and um how it's weighing her down her confidence and everything else it was just weighing her down now the time for her to go for the interview right guess what she did she got up dressed up so beautifully and got her throw back and that was the 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 um how do you call it the picture of what they showed in the beginning of the you know of the movie it was this very confident young woman in a school uniform, big afro, walking through her school and everybody loved her for that, you know. So she, she got her throw back, dressed up and went for the interview. She got there and Miss Daisy saw her thinking, you know, almost like telling her, you're not going to get this job looking like this. But you know what, she just ignored Miss Daisy. And then the lady that was supposed to interview her came and introduced herself, which was a white woman. And then she goes, hi, my name is Dolapo. And she added her last name. And then the woman was like, what can I call you? She was like, call me Dolapo. The, name, the lady was like, Dolapo it is. How easy was that? I mean, come on, that is hard. You know how the story ends. It ended there. I mean, back to the confident girl she was. I could just imagine the face of Miss Denise, but anyway, they ended it there because it was very short. But now nah, let's talk. Listen, mummy's out there, please, please. And I'll say again, please teach your girls, especially to love themselves. I mean, whatever they are. And I think I'm specifically going to talk to our black women out there. Teach your girls to love themselves. You know what my girls whenever i'm doing their hair i tell them oh your hair is beautiful i keep giving them compliments just so they feel confident within themselves that you know what whatever the texture of my hair whatever the color of my hair it is beautiful as it is you know i mean my two girls have different textures i keep telling them the girls your hair is simply beautiful you know and sometimes they see me obviously with wigs or maybe my hair is braided or i braid your hair and stuff like that and they ask me why and i simply tell them listen and now guys i'm not bashing anyone who choose to go for wigs or braid your hair like i did and i'm taking it off now or do whatever but the whole point is be beautiful the way you are be confident the way you are be confident within yourself that you know what you can let your hair down i mean i'm gonna take my hair out and i'll show you how my natural hair looks um, and i'm sure you can see from the pictures that i posted from the beginning you've got to be confident within yourself with what you've got i put on wigs when i feel like oh i'm too tired to do my hair or around the season i usually don't get time to be doing my hair more more often so i just put it in braids like it is now like this braids after i take it on i'm thinking what else am i going to do i'll probably just braid it again because of the season you see so the whole point i'm trying to make here is be confident within yourself and let your girls know i mean let your whether you have a, a baby girl you have a a, a a niece out there you have a little sister out there or you even have a friend out there let them know how beautiful it is the way their hair texture is the way their hair color is whatever it is now i'm speaking across all boards whoever you are watching this let your children know how beautiful they are 
even the boys when i'm dressing them up well the older one is he does himself but the younger one i'll tell him you're handsome you are this you're that just so you know he's confident so he goes out there and someone says something else to him he's not gonna badge because he knows mommy's telling him or daddy's telling him or you know the family are letting him know that you know what i am handsome I am, I am good enough the way I am and I don't need anybody's approval to look a different way. You understand? It's all finally done and here we have it. The fro is back to play. I mean guys, isn't this beautiful to have this? You know, the fact that I can have it curled, I can have it straightened and I can still get my fro. How beautiful is that? You know, and that's what I'm trying to instill in my girls that you know what, regardless of how their hair looks, they are beautiful. You know and um, also yes I wanted to talk about names we from Africa we have names we we have very odd names yes but we don't have to apologize for it if somebody can't pronounce it they can't pronounce it just teach them how to say it if they can't still say it I mean what's the big deal hello I can't pronounce mr. Kampruski or whatever <laughs> Yes, I apologize to Mr. Kapruski. Sorry I can't pronounce your name, but he's not going to apologize to me because he's got that name. So, own your name. My name is Amuenima. Amuenima. I love it. So, yeah, I'm just going to end it there, guys. Thank you for joining me on this um, chitty chat slash taking out my hair slash movie review or should I say drama review or whatever it is, review. Um, I, just, I just hope and pray that... Um, you gain something out of this i mean whoever you are wherever you are or even if you know somebody and they are struggling in that sense of you know um gaining that confidence within themselves i mean talk to them let them know that listen even if you are bald you are beautiful it doesn't matter whether you have the hair or you don't you are beautiful and that is all that matters so as usual you know how i'm gonna leave you with god you can do all things you can do it so until next time um i think i'm due to do another fashion one because you guys have been asking for it it's gonna come soon take care love you all bye bye